What up, Outdoor Fam? All right, so we decided to do another impromptu trip to go fishing. And we're gonna go to one of our little spots that we know that obviously we know that they have a lot of bluegill there. Um, they do have a lot of smallmouth there too, guys. If we can get into them today, that'd be nice. But we're gonna go load up on some night crawlers at, at the old local store. And uh, we'll see you guys in a bit. Oh my gosh, these nails. All right guys, let's load up on some worms and get going. All right guys, let's go get these and get out of here. This is a pole that I caught that three pound catfish on when I was going for bluegill. Um, but we just have very light line, little tiny crappie pole or bluegill pole be just fine. We put a little pinch weight on there, usually about a foot to a foot and a half from the hook. We just got a little hook on there. I'm going to put some worm on there, guys, because mine is just stolen. A little chubby piece. So just like that guys, you just throw it out there till you get a tug. So I usually leave my line slack a little bit because that way as soon as they start pulling on it you can see it. Oh, bring it over here. <laughs> little tiny one, guys. Look, but we I were just out this. trying to catch some more. I cut it on that little thing. Look at that walk right there. Like, literally not even two feet out. He was feisty on there, too. I can't tell if they can see it. <laughs> oh, I should have taken him back to the rock. All right, guys. Let's get another one. Ooh, guys, she we just hooked into what we think is a big old bass. It's actually a big old bass. Oh. Oh, wow. Well, careful. That's cool. Ooh. Oh my god! Hey, you're caught already. Take it easy. Hey, it worked. Half a worm. Get him, I guess. He was a victim of a night crawler challenge. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Ooh, careful grabbing the line though. Freaking me out. Ooh, baby. <laughs> Let's eat them. No. no. <laughs> Not for these parts, sucker. I was just messing. I know he hates it. <laughs> he was on there good. He's a resident. But I'm telling you, half a night crawler always gets those fish. I don't know why. Hurry, Bubba. Oh, you need the pliers. You need the pliers? Better not bend my hook, that's my lucky hook. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. Oh, again. Wrong way, dude, wrong way. Where'd he even go? He went by your feet. He went that way. All right, well he gone, guys. That's awesome, babe. 
I wonder if that's the one Gene caught that one day. No, the one Gene caught was uh, was bigger. Twice as big as that. Yeah. See, I told you guys there was more than bluegill in here. I just didn't know if we would See, ever I catch told one. You, right when I got here, I said, "Here comes smallmouth." All right guys, well we're gonna see what else we can get into while we're down here. All right guys, so we're gonna move down uh, down the river just a little bit. We're gonna go to find a new spot that these guys are telling me is a better spot. So we'll see y'all in a few. So here we are at our new spot. It definitely looks juicy. Like so let's see. That was crazy. See what we can get. Chewie, didn't you say you pulled the girl's bike out of here before? Yeah. <laughs> and then somebody took it and left it over there by where we came in. You never know what you're going to get, guys. Definitely bluegill. Already okay. getting niblets. Woo! Ooh, I'm out of breath, y'all. It's too hot for all this walking. All right, well, it's the best. All right, well, let's see what else, guys. Hang in there. Stay tuned. Look at this guy. Yes. This is like our third species here today, guys. Heck yeah. Ooh, I'm excited. Definitely the biggest catfish I've ever caught out of the river. Woo. All right. Well, I'm keeping him. Uh, we don't, uh, do we have a stringer? All right, Chewie's got a bluegill. Keep, keep a. Keep your, keep your rod up. Keep, keep your rod up. up. Keep the tension. Oh my god. You all, this is an awesome night. I'm. Oh. Oh, let him run with it. Let him run. Oh, He's bigging. Really I'm not about a horse. I'm about to take off. <laughs> oh, you got a catfish in here. Because I was gonna get a picture with him, but then you. uh Hooked a gar over here. No. Oh. He, came off. he didn't break the line. He just came off the hook. Dang it. 
<laughs> oh, oh, all right. Well, geez. we have a little. We have a, a little oh, bit of daylight left, guys. I told you there's a. That is so bad. All right, guys. It may be dark outside, but it is still a million degrees. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so me and Chewy both got our big fish. I got my catfish. He got his smallmouth. We're taking mine home because we leave the smallmouth hey, here. AJ hooked up to a few uh, AJ. big gar. That big gar was, was a big gar. I'm hoping that y'all could see it in the water. I could see it, and I had the camera pointed at the water, but I'm hoping that it caught it. But, um, yeah, of yeah. course, but I got a big, nice yeah. channel cat, guys. So, of course, we're going to have to cook it up. We're going to have to turn this into a catch and cook. Um, and I did save one of the little goggle eye, rock bass, whatever you want to call it. And he, we might as well just throw him in the, in the pan too. <laughs> so uh, we will see y'all for that. So stay tuned guys. We'll see you in a bit. All right guys. So you saw my nice catfish that we caught and I could not resist. I had to come home and cook that sucker up. So, so far we've showed you guys um, filleting them, making nuggets in uh in the fish fry stuff that we always get and all that stuff and shaking it around well today we're gonna cook it just like this and guys i've made it with the head on it before but to fit in the pan and for the squeamish people i did cut the head off and i did score it several times to help it cook inside and it makes it nice and easy to pull the meat off when you go to eat it um, so i will be putting it in the grease just like that um, we also have some smaller nuggets from guys just like this that are perfect for tacos. And I'm just going to make what I call surfer tacos because when we lived in California, they made tacos at a really good place by the beach. And they just put the naked little fried fillets in there with some avocado and cilantro and just a few little fresh ingredients and they were delicious. So that is what we are going to make guys. I'm heating this grease up nice and hot. I did some regular grease mixed with some coconut oil because I've been wanting to see how it affects the taste of food and I thought the fish would be a good place to start. Um, I also put some onions, some garlic powder because I discovered the nightmare that I was out of fresh garlic when I got home to cook this. Um, what else? A few capers in there, um, dill, salt, and I may add some seasonings to the actual fish before I put it in there guys. So I will see you guys in a few minutes. So I think the grease is pretty well ready. I'm just going to put some more garlic on this guy, garlic powder, I mean, and uh, try to get them in there before I burn my onions, guys. All right. Ready for that sizzle. And this guy's whole, we're just gonna throw him in there. Can eat him on the side. Can't go wrong with these side fish. And we will let him cook, guys, and then we will flip him on over. So I've been cooking it for about three or four minutes now, um, and I do want it to be nice and crispy on that other side. So let's go ahead and give it a flip. See how we're doing. Oh yeah, that looks good. And catfish are super awesome to eat like this. They don't have all the little Y bones. You can literally just pick the pieces of meat right off so easily, and they're just nice big chunks of catfish, guys. So I do recommend trying it like that. Maybe make it's it's so quick. You can just deep fry it. Um, you can put a pot of rice on while you're doing it, um, and then you do you have a meal. So it works for us. So guys, I'm just going to let that cook up the rest of the way, and then we'll throw our little fillets in there. Alright guys, I took our little guy out because he took no time at all. Nice and crispy on the outside, and he's done. I don't want to overdo it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and take this guy out so we can put our little fillets in. And as you can see, that came out so good. I'm so excited. So I'm going to go ahead and put our little fillets in. Um, I'm going to give them a little bit of seasoning in here before I do that though, just because. No fish fry though, just seasoning. I just did salt and garlic powder guys. So I'm going to go ahead and drop those on in. Hopefully it doesn't get me. And 
And I expect these to cook up super quick, guys. Kind of wishing I was able to do this one with the basket. They're going to be hard to find in there, but we'll be all right. All right, so since they're so small, guys, I'm going to go ahead and grab my big metal spoon with holes in it. Oh, man, they're going to be good. It already smells so good. I wish you guys could smell it. All right. I'm going to give it a couple, guys, and I'll see you in a few. All right, guys. I reckon these are done. They're really, really not very big. So I'm not going for a super crispy texture on these because they're going to go in tacos that are just a little bit different style than your regular tacos with all the cabbage and dressing and stuff. I just want them cooked nice and tender, and I just want them juicy with the avocado and all the natural ingredients that are in there. So I'm going to go ahead and take them all out and hope I got it all. Get the little onion bits in there. Alright guys, pretty sure I got it all. And then we will turn this off so we don't burn the plates down. And I'm going to get my tortillas out of the microwave and because I do that for these. Um, but And then I will show you guys how I'm going to assemble these tacos, okay? Okay, guys. So it is time to make my tacos. I'm going to put some meat in there. And these are my, my tacos that I'm going to eat, so I'm making them with my hands. <laughs> All right. I'm putting the meat in there. And then I'm going to put some fresh cilantro in there. You can tell they're greasy because the cilantro is sticking in my fingers. I'm going to put a few little onions in there. I don't know what you want to call these, Baja tacos. I don't know. But they're just a little different than your regular ones. Guys, I'm going to put some avocado in there. And I know there's no sauce in there, guys, but if they come out dry, then you didn't use enough grease or they're overcooked because these should be nice and juicy. All right, guys. And then we still have our fried fish, which my children can't wait to start picking at it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to try my taco. Woohoo! Mmm. So it's got the hot fish in it, and then your cold, fresh tasting ingredients. So, guys, this is how we do tacos sometimes. I just wanted to show something different other than the deep fried nuggets and fish fry. So, uh, so yeah. And then I do want to show you guys, too, the catfish, like how yummy it is and how it just pulls right off of there. Nice and crispy. There's no bones in there. You can just get that meat out with a fork. Like I said, put some rice, put some rice on while you're cooking your fish and you have a meal. Super easy, super fast. And a good way not to let these fish go to waste, guys. Um, so that is it for the catch and cook from our little trip to the creek and my nice catfish that was my nice little surprising treasure that I pulled out of there. So thank you for watching guys. Thank you for joining us. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Help us get that out there guys. And as always, tight lines.